Daenerys arrives at Dragonstone ready to take her seat on the Iron Throne. It goes really poorly. <laughs> After losing pretty much all her allies, in comes Jon Snow wanting her help against the White Walkers. She says, well cool, just bend the knee then. At first he's like, nah, and then he's like, yeah. Sansa's left in charge of Winterfell and does a pretty good job. Bran and Arya show up, it's a family reunion. Bran spends all his time staring into space. Arya's a badass killer now, and Littlefinger tries to convince Sansa into thinking she's next. But then he dies, so it's fine. Cersei's still queen and has reached her peak, I don't give a f phase. I'm the queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Three kingdoms at best. Also, she might be pregnant, cause you know, incest. <laughs> John and Danny need to convince her the whole dead people are gonna kill us all thing. So John takes a few of his best bros north of the wall to catch themselves a live one. They manage to get a wife, but Danny loses one of her dragons to the Night King. Then it's back. They bring the White Walker to Cersei, who now sees it's getting real and promises to help, but we both know she won't. The season ends with John and Danny boinking, right as Sam learns the truth about John's ancestry, so yeah, he just boinked his aunt. Oh. Oh, and the White Walkers tear down the wall for their final invasion! Well, crap. And now we are all caught up. Nothing left to do but sit back and enjoy Game of Thrones Season 8. Now where did I put my jujubes?